What's going on, guys? We're here to answer the question. Glitch or polecat? You tell me. All right, so I'm getting out today just real quick. I'm gonna do, I don't know how many holes. I'm just gonna play and play the holes that I get to that feel like they're the best for discs like this. And we're gonna see what I score better with. Two glitches or two polecats. I will more than likely allow myself to putt with, my, uh, with putters that are not these, just for the sake of uh, better putts and me getting practice because I haven't got to practice a lot here lately. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. We're gonna play hole one, then probably jump over to a couple random other holes. So we're at the ridge, by the way. We'll see how this goes. This is the pole cat that I have bagged for a little while. This is a halo one. So I have a halo and then a glow DX. Then I've got a neutron soft and then the special edition one. I don't know exactly if it's a special plastic or not. I'm gonna go off with the halo pole cat first. Ooh, that was close to being good. Close. I think I'm gonna go with this uh, white uh, neutron soft one. Ooh. We're starting off good with that glitch. I think that's gonna be part. I don't know, I like to feel this glitch. They feel really nice. All right, the pole cat is first. We're gonna give it a putt. Right outside circle, one, probably like 35 feet or something. Hide it. Oh. That may be. More than likely, we'll be taking a three with the pole cat. White glitch is part. That's a one stroke lead. Okay, so we have jumped over to hole 10 now. T sign says high, a hole nine, but we've added a hole in the course, so technically 10. This is a short little ace run, but could get dangerous behind the basket or if you don't hit the initial gap. So now I'm gonna go the DX Glow Polecat and the blue special edition glitch. I guess glitch is on the T since it got a birdie. There for a minute I had the thoughts of chains might come out and uh, let us hear them. Let's try to match that with the polecat. And see I'm getting better with these glitches and stuff too. It's just I had to learn how to throw them first. I got it now. Nice tune, Kai. You lucky? Oh I did, but it didn't go near far enough. All right, so the pole cat is actually a decent distance away. I would call this getting close to maybe 60 feet. I am just gonna pick this one up and throw it instead of uh, actually putt, because I am decent distance. Man, I didn't even give that a chance. I got a little scared. Should be just a tap in. So the glitch is inside the circle. That's uh, two strokes now on the uh, old pole cat. It's, uh, ooh. Okay, and this isn't a slander video right at the moment to the pole cat. I've been bagging this pole cat. The glitch has just surprised me feel-wise and to fly, very similar. Like here's your profiles to it. The pole cat is like, like a lid, literally. This at least feels a little bit more like a putter, even though it's like a hybrid between a Frisbee and a putter. Uh, we're switching back to Halo and this. I'm just trying to alternate them, so I give them both 
shots. This is a little uh, 250 down the hill. This hole could change a lot of stuff because this is a, a hard one if you don't pure the gap. Get lucky. Oh. I missed this initial gap and just missed a tree then I got back in the gap so I got away with that one and it's putting now we're going halo polecat at oh no ground action at all on that just straight up jam the ground but it hit the initial gap so they both should be at least threes let me know if you guys kind of like this um, type of video it's almost like a review mixed in with a challenge maybe a YouTube will uh, like that better because anytime I do challenge videos they just don't do well and other channels seem to do well with some challenge videos so I think I'm not into algorithm to do challenge videos and have them get video, uh, views very well so let me know what you think if you want me to put more discs that are like each other and do like a little one round or like five or six hole challenges with them. I can do that. But now let's get back to it. I'm going to give the pole cat a break. We are circle two, but I'm just going to go ahead and putt. Might not actually be that much of a break because uh, this is downhill some. Uh, glitch is about 25, 20 feet up in front. the glitch for a tooth. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Polecat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Polecat. That's three down through three with the glitch. Ooh, boy. Okay, we are playing this par four here not necessarily uh, the best hole for this but it can uh, be good on playing position maybe if you've not seen this video or if I'm not had this in video yet this new left gap here maybe I'll do bonus throws or something and try to highlight that there's a dead straight shot to the basket now glitch still on the tee we're going white first not going for much on this Just hit the gap trying to play that hybrid. Oh, uh, well, here's an opportunity for the pole cat. Maybe, if I can get a good shot out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, the last tree. That was gonna be in a really good spot uh, for a second shot for a birdie. Could possibly still do it. That shows you, you don't even have to throw high speed to get a birdie on this hole at the moment. Not a lot at this life. I just gotta try to hit this gap and uh, eat up as much fairway as possible. Very, very close. It's being deep. So now we're on Glitch's third shot. Somewhat of a gap. Very long putt. This tree right here did not help. I'm in a weird spot. Need to beat up the fairway. That's a putt for a three. All right, so the pole cat has earned a putt. I'm just putting this one because I'm here at it first. The other one's over here. center oh my gosh man I thought that was in that putt was around 32 feet or so just banded it oh 
So now the glitch will just go to a two stroke lead because I took a five with the glitch and four with the polecats. Okay, so we're gonna try to squeeze two more holes out. Polecat has the box now. Uh, this basket, it's hard to get to with the backhand. I don't even know if you can really get to it. It has to be just super straight. It is a good forehand hole now with uh, in the new position. So, polecat first, losing daylight. that branch that was actually probably gonna give me a putt oh my gosh well glitch is turned to try to see what it can do oh that was kind of close to actually hitting the line I needed to get this is kind of a weird spot I threw that other pole cast so I'm gonna pick this halo up well, there we go. Could be a tap in. For the two, I would be parked on the short back. Get up there. My first time ever doing this hole. Yeah, in this position. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, got to stroke back with the glitch now. Okay, we're on the last hole. This is at the moment technically hole 17. Little downhill hyzer. This is basically over unless something miraculous happens like I bogey with this one, ace with the polecat. We're going blue special edition. Should be a three. This I need to bow a little bit straighter. For the glory. Not that straight, Josh. You got kind of a friendly kick there. Okay, I'm far enough out that I'm going to use this uh, blue uh, glitch because the other one's down there. That should be pretty close, close enough for a two, probably a three. I mean, it's game over at this point. The other pole catch right here behind this log is probably about 60 feet. I'll just go ahead and use this one. Oh, oh. All right, well, that was the challenge. The glitch versus the pole cat. The glitch won in a pretty uh, dominating fashion, but I will say I still like the way a polecat flies. There is very little differences in their flights, but in general, I can throw these the same and get very similar uh, flights out of them. Glitch probably has more glide, but uh, in comparison, I think like the flight numbers on a polecat are 1300, and this glitch says 1700. So, I think it does have more glide. The glitch is definitely more comfortable in hand. Um, at the moment, I'm still thinking I might end up bagging a glitch. The only uh, thing that puts me at a standstill with it is how hard is it going to be for me to find a glitch if I ever lose these two? I don't know. But, you guys let me know what you think. Um, Yes, I can throw these on hyzer. Y'all saw in the video. So they are controllable. Uh, it is angle. You got to be good on your form. So I'm not uh, saying that's not a factor. So form is the key. But if you get out and throw these enough and uh, figure them out, you can throw them really well and get them to hold hyzers, both molds. But uh, it's every shot in this video was a fan grip. So there's that. But that's all we got. Let me know if you like these type of videos. Maybe these review slash challenge videos will be another way for me to get challenges and reviews out the way uh, or a more entertaining review for you so that's all we got till next time peace